Welcome to the call uh, with me, Adam, again from Quarter Cloud. And uh, joining me right now, we have Tom from Immersive Labs. Hello. Glad to be here. Yes. So what, what, what are you here for? What, what's happening today? Uh, so, well, ESCOM in general, uh, the, the biggest collection of cyber professionals in the Southwest. Yes. In Baron That's, That's exactly what we're here what for. The I launching of the I castle. You could sell this better than me. Yeah, like. I That's can great. Part of my job. <laughs> good man, good man. So, uh, so who, uh, who are you and where are you from? So I'm Tom Bunce from Immersive Labs, Bristol-based cybersecurity company. Uh, I've been there for two years, starting a direct sales role and moved more to from a, like, a beginning junior role into mid-market and then enterprise and then the public sector and now I work in channel relations so I've done the whole like, you've been across, so, the, across, across the board I've wear, worn all the hats mate um, got and, all the and, t-shirts uh, yeah all the t-shirts all the stash I'm covered <laughs> in it uh, and yeah just got like, past my two years um, and yeah working in channel development role so yeah enabling and helping partners sell I've, I've had that direct sales experience so now I can yeah eloquate the the pain points in which our customers the reason why they buy and then pass that knowledge on to our partners to help resell it so in short very qualified. <laughs> Partially qualified. Okay, sure, sure. sure. Yeah. Um, so what, what is Immersive Labs? What do, you, what do you do? So Immersive Labs isn't a quote-unquote technical cell. We're not a firewall or an antivirus product. What we do is help enable organizations to build up their human aspect of right. cyber resilience. So that's the idea around like training, benchmarking the capability within an organization and then proving that back to managers or leadership, auditors or like internal boards. So... We started off in kind of training designated cybersecurity professionals. So that'd be SOC teams, blue team members, red teams, pen testers, the the nerds in the basement is what we used to do. So <laughs> we'd nerds have, in the basement. Yeah, that's You're on where camera. we are right You're now. You're on camera. In, yeah, the nerds <laughs> in the basement. Um, so that would be yeah, the designated cybersecurity professionals. That's how we started about five yeah. years ago. And what we'd do is build sandbox virtual machine environments where they could go in and mess around with malware and vulnerabilities, detonate it. If it goes and causes a mess, don't worry, it's all in a safe environment. And then they start these exercises or challenges again. The idea being that's to keep you up to date against the latest and greatest threats. So once you've completed those challenges, you can evidence it back to prove you've got the skills and capabilities to protect your organization. Yeah, That's what we're well and good, but for a small niche subset. But what we want to do is make sure that organizations have that confidence and capability across everyone. So it's not just those technical experts. If you're Adam, the CEO of an organization yeah. and you get hit by ransomware, it's not going to be those technical experts that decide to pay the ransom or not or how they you know, speak with the media or which regulators they need to inform. Right. That's going to be a CEO, but he's not technically cyber aware. So he needs to be exercising that kind of emergency response in like a crisis scenario of their play-by-play, their yep. instant response plan, what they do. So we've spread out now to cover all aspects of an organization around building out that general cyber resilience to know what to do in the case of a cyber threat, essentially. Very cool. And uh, is there is there a, is there a, a theme with what kind of industries and sectors you work with? Well, so typically, because um, to a certain degree, organisations are driven by compliance. So we we do very well in the FSI, so financial services, insurance. There's a lot of money, a lot of personal data that needs right. to be protected. Okay. So there are lots of compliance drivers. Um, so the government like, right, you need to do X, Y, and Z. So to enable that, mm. they get immersive labs to come in and be able to prove that back to the regulators. That's what we do really well, evidencing of those skills. So that's where we work a lot. We've also got um, national contracts with the NHS. Uh, we work extensively. We've got a national contract with the MOD. So wow. anyone that's got those really high-level skills we got into initially, but now it's anyone that really needs to build out and get cyber mature. So... In March of 2022, there was new FCA regulation. So if you're FCA regulated, any finance company, you need to demonstrate something called operational resilience. They are severe but plausible scenarios that could cause a massive business impact. Right. Cyber attacks is one of them. How do you prove that you've got this operational resilience? You get immersive labs. Enter Go scenario, immersive labs, yeah. Alle. Um, Enter the chat. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, DM'd. Here we go. Hi, Brilliant. guys. <laughs> How do you want some operational resilience? Excellent. So yeah. that's what, yeah. Brilliant. Anyone okay. and everyone, but mainly FSI to begin with. Okay. Very interesting. And uh, my final question, final bit for the podcast. I just want to ask you a question I want to ask everyone today, and you can be as succinct as you want. What, what is cybersecurity? What, I mean... Right. You know, yeah. I, I work in marketing. What do I know? What so is what cyber is cybersecurity? Um, see, I reckon you're going to have a lot of non-succinct answers here. Yeah. So give me two seconds. I'm going to think of a very succinct answer. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like yeah, this. I'm, I'm going to try and 
this is this is this is a great stalling. That's fine because maybe we'll edit in some like French thinking music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Okay, so what is cybersecurity? Genuinely, you can take all the time you need. Like, yeah, yeah, that is absolutely fine. We uh, um, we edit the confidence and capability in securing your IT estate. Mic drop. Yeah, yeah, that's all I want to say. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good work. Yeah, good work. Is that a one more time? Uh, what is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is the confidence and capability in protecting your IT estate. That's it. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, that's great. That's so cool. That's so cool. Because I'm probably going to start saying that now. Uh, no, I know. I don't think that's great. I don't think it's. <sighs> it's great. It's, too succinct. it's, it's great for a journalistic perspective. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. May, may, maybe not a technical perspective. Yeah, yeah. But that's so, uh, there'll be a lot of holes to pick into that. That's but fine. That's it's fine. A, it's a one That's liner. why we're asking different people. Yeah, yeah get someone more qualified than me. That's not, it. not a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us, Tom. Uh, yeah, have a great day. Come on, come on. Take it easy. Man. You'll be invited. <laughs> Thank you.